Throw everything you know about developing concepts right out the window. Right there. Because if you're not taking advantage of AI in 2023, you are doing something wrong. That's not an attack on the traditional methods because generating ideas will always start with a sketch but then you're gonna take that sketch and test it in so many different ways it's a long process and AI can definitely speed it up so in today's video I'm gonna share with you a sneaky tool that can dramatically level up your concept generation process let's get started so the tool is called Promi AI and it can take sketches and turn them into realistic renderings using artificial intelligence. And to use it, you can use the link in the description box. It's through a website so you don't have to download a software or anything. And they have many other features such as photo to sketch, race in place, image variation. But we're going to focus on the sketch rendering tool because that's the tool that you're going to use the most. So you can upload a sketch or use one of the images provided. At the bottom here, you can write the prompt, choose the rendering mode, and also the type of sketch. Is it architecture, landscape, anime, and so forth? For now, let's just go with no prompt and anything, and let's see what AI can generate. I actually really, really like the results, and it's quite crazy that AI can produce something like this out of a sketch. I've used AI tools before in the past, and I found that when you do add a prompt, it kind of takes it as a suggestion, but with Promi AI, I found that it actually really listens to your prompt. And you can experiment with the rendering mode and the type of sketch, so let's try a concept. And for landscape, because I'm gonna try the site plan, let's try watercolor. And the options are generated pretty quickly. It's only a few times where I see that they've been added to a queue for 10 to 15 seconds. And this is so helpful, especially for rendering, if you want to see how your sketch is going to look in different sketching mediums. But what if you're not good at sketching? Can you use orthographic drawings? Yes, you can. So in SketchUp, I uncheck dashes and material transparency and then use the hidden line style. And then I usually export this into PDF for when I import this into Illustrator. But for this software, I'm going to export it into a JPEG. And then I can upload this into the website and then try the sketch rendering again. And what's so good about this website compared to other AI websites is that it's really geared towards artists, architects, and designers because you can see that just when you click on architecture, there are so many different options and the list just keeps going on. Like you can keep, keep going down and down and it's just so cool and kind of addictive. For this one, let's write a prompt, very simple one, and then upload our image. And to be honest, I was so, so shocked with the results. And I, I mean, how did AI, how, how did AI turn my sketch into this? And if you click on these three dots here, you can also use the same image into the other tools, so sketch rendering, photo to sketch, image variation. But truthfully, I don't know why erase and replace is just not working for me. Maybe it's a glitch. I don't know because I have seen it work in other videos. And you can also download these images. So if you're a premium user, you can download a higher quality resolution one. But if you're just a free user, you can download a smaller one. So looking up close at this image, it's so impressive. I really like what it did with the landscape. It's so interesting and different to what I had. I do find like some areas are a bit glitchy and just not very seamless but at the end of the day this is not for a final product this is just to generate some ideas so as a starting point this is incredible and from here you can also go to erase and replace and this one works but I do have to upload this image again and then you can select any part of this rendering if for example you didn't like a certain part and you wanted to change it you can use a brush to select it, but I actually really like that they have this magic wand tool thing. It's so cool. And then you can write down a prompt and generate some ideas. Truthfully, this is not what I expected at all, but it's, it's interesting, you know? These generations are entering a queue, and I wonder if that's because of the amount of users using the website at the same time. 
but you can see how you can take one sketch and turn it into so many different options fairly quickly. The next feature I want to talk about is image variation and it's actually one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So I'm going to upload this render that I've done with D5 render and I'm going to leave the variation at the default and let's generate. You can see how it kept the existing geometry, the trees, the pool, then gave me different options for tree placement, the grass, the materials, furniture pieces, glazing. This one is a different perspective altogether, which is kind of cool. And then you can take that same render and turn it back into a sketch. How cool is that? The last tool I want to mention briefly is the 3D text effect generator. Okay. Interesting choice of colors and background. Let's try something else. I really like this mode. Wow, that's actually really nice. I feel like it's uh, I feel like it's part of a drama show. Another feature is that you can take a simple image and then you can use the background diffusion to completely remove the background, which is really quick and easy, but then you can also replace it. So this is mainly geared towards product design. So of course, I don't know, a tree in a bathroom is gonna look... <laughs> okay, yeah, it looks super weird. I love how it added it to the sink. That's just crazy. But yeah, if you take a product, you can replace the background and use it on social media or your branding, which is super cool. So the best part about this website is that you can use it for free. You can generate up to 200 images per month, which is way more than any other AI software. But you can download the HD results. You can download the smaller versions, like I've mentioned before. So if you do upgrade to the monthly subscription or the annual subscription, you have full access to all the features, you can download the HD results, and you can also use it for commercial use and distribution. And that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful. Thank you to ProMe AI for sponsoring today's video. Let me know in the comments down below how you are using AI in your design process. I'm Rasha Shiruru and I will see you next time.